so let me explain you what we want so till now how we doing stuff so we have our sap build runtime so in the sap btp platform we have deployed our process so this is the deployed version of your process like we created a warehouse mass ordering process just think about it and currently you are a dev you are a developer so to test this process from external world you are using the postman tool you are getting the jot token from oauth call and in authentication and then you are testing it as a developer so this is like a dev like a testing you are doing to start your process but that's not what our users will do our user is perhaps a manager in the bank or a clerk in the bank or a sales representative or a field uh, worker working in a in a, uh, in a in a in a workstation yeah so that is what our users are so our users are like a layman a common person in the market yeah they are the, the users they don't know what is postman tool they don't know technicality behind it so for them what we want we want to give them an application and this will be a fury application where they will input the data needed and then they will just say uh, game on yeah let's say start when they do this at that point of time our process should start this is very very important especially when you build a deploy a process and a another team or a fury developer want to build an app so as a developer you have to build this app first and then our user will access this app where will the user access this app so in the persona of user this app will be deployed again on btp as a html5 application yes so this app will be deployed in the html5 repository in the cloud in the btp and there will be an app router the managed app router which will access this application which you build and deploy so we will be doing that and then our user will actually have this application loaded in the mobile phone or a tablet or browser access through sap build work zone because that's where all the applications are available as a tile so they open the build work zone they is open the tile they that will open the application and then with that application we will trigger our process so it will trigger our process behind the scene so user will get a nice simple easy user experience yes that is what they will use to trigger a process so they don't know what a process or technicality they will just get a simple screen like a mobile application you all use on day-to-day -day life right and that will then behind the scene trigger our process so this is the whole thing so step number one as a dev we will build this and to build this we use the bash tool this is step one then after this we will deploy this in the html5 repository step number two then step number three we will configure this in the build work zone step number three then step number four we will test as a end user if it is working or not so what i've done i've already followed all the steps which i mentioned to build this start ui and then i made it work so i will finally go for testing so i open my build work zone uh, site where i will have now my warehouse mass order application superb i click on that and i should get a easy simple fury app that is what our end user will use i will pass the data like anton is the customer for which i want to trigger all the mass warehouse orders starting my build process and i trigger yeah when i click i should be then going to my sap build monitoring processes and instances and see if there is a new process instance which starts or not so i will be tracking it all of them so you see right now the last one was at 155 the current time is 209 yeah 1409 so if it all works then it should start a a new process instance so i click call is gone 
and you see it's giving response that it started so if i go back to sap build monitoring process monitoring and refresh voila there you go you can see it has started my sap build mass warehouse mass order processing process the process got completed it has an automation which looped over the sub process and triggers seven process instances yes because that customer anton have seven seven sales orders in the database so it has created seven individual work items to dispatch each of the order one by one you can actually check the task for this so you can go there you can view the task which was assigned to the user you see request to dispatch the order this for antonio moreno yeah so that is the anton my customer you can assign this processor to myself assign and then i go back to build work zone go back open my inbox i've got a one work item so that work item i have received now and i should be able to dispatch this order by assigning the uh, assigning the uh, task assigner so you see delivery agent i will assign delivery agent melania and i will say send so now the order will be dispatched melania will get a notification and she will pick that parcel pick that docket of that customer antonio and she will deliver it to antonio so that is the entire build process and we have created the entire start ui start fury ui in the sap business application studio deployed and made it available to the user as a fury application in build work zone so that's the complete end loop scenario complete scenario end to end how a, a developer build a process deploy a process then how a pro developer build a fury app and deploy the fury app and give access to the user and how an end user eventually triggers the build process and how the administrator can monitor and assign these tasks and how the end user will finally take action using my inbox app with the same place with build work zone to complete the tasks which are assigned to them as a result of work items created from the business build process so that comes to the end of this session if you like my content please like share and subscribe the channel and do share this playlist link with your friends in the whatsapp group so that they can also take an advantage of this free tutorial on sap build process automation thank you once again for your time i hope to see you in the next episode till then goodbye